hello everyone and welcome to my channel make it yourself today we are going to learn how to make this very easy and simple web pattern we will also learn how to make these uh, spiders you can use this web as a halloween decoration you can hang it in the corner of your door or over the wall also this pattern is uh, very flexible and you can change the size of the web based on your requirement you can make a very large web or a smaller web as well so i'm using this cotton yarn which is having a double color of white and green you can also use black yarn but since uh, identifying the stitches in a black yarn is difficult so here i'm using a light color yarn so we start off by making a magic ring and then we chain one so after this chain one we will be chaining three again so that makes a total of chain of four and after this chain of four which acts as a treble crochet I'm going to chain one extra after this we will be making one treble crochet into the magic ring so the first chain of four is considered as our first treble crochet so this is the second treble crochet and then we are chaining one again and making another treble crochet so after the treble crochet again we are going to chain one so we will repeat this uh, process of making one treble crochet and chaining one um, till we make a total of six treble crochet and including the chain of four that we made at the beginning we should have a, a total of seven treble crochet so continue making uh, a treble crochet and then chain one so here we have one two three four five six so make chain one and the last treble crochet so we'll be ending with a treble crochet so this is the last treble crochet of this uh, row one so here as you can see we have a total of seven treble crochet you including the initial chain of four after that we pull the tail of the magic ring and close the loop now we are going to row number two and here we'll do a chain of four which is our first treble crochet and then chain two so this chain two is the um, chain between the two treble crochets so for it is a one way of easily remembering it is based on the uh, row number you will have that many chains between the treble crochet so since this is row number two we have two treble crochet i'm sorry we have two chains between the treble crochets so here we are making the treble crochets just on top of our previous rows treble crochet so chain two and then yarn over twice and insert your hook on top of the previous treble crochet and pull through two loops at a time and do this three times so chain two again yarn over twice and then pull through two loops three times so this way we will be making a total of uh, six treble crochets and if you count the chain of four that we did at the beginning then it will be a total of seven treble crochets now this is the last stitch so you can see we have one two three four five six total of six stitches uh, the last one we will be skipping one chain uh, here and then into the next stitch we will be making our treble crochet so uh, instead of counting one from top you can also count four from bottom and then make the treble crochet on the fourth stitch so here as you can see we will have a total of uh, seven treble crochet including the chain of four now we will be moving to row number three so chain four which is our treble crochet and then make a chain of three 
since this is row number three we will be having a gap of chain three between the double crochets so chain three turn your work and make a treble crochet on top of our previous treble crochet here and after the treble crochet we are going to chain three so we will do this for the next six treble crochets so we'll repeat the same pattern make a treble crochet and chain three so repeat this till you reach the last till you make a stitch on top of the last treble crochet and after that our last uh, treble crochet that is the seventh one will be on top of this chain so count two chains from top one two and on the third chain make a treble crochet So make this treble crochet this is the last treble crochet of this row and now we are going to row number four so chain four which is considered as the first treble crochet and chain four extra which is the gap between the treble crochets so this is row number four so we are having a gap of chain four between the treble crochets so this is an easy way of remembering it so make a treble crochet here and then make a chain of four and then make make the next treble crochet over the previous one so every uh, row will have a total of seven treble crochets uh, and this includes the chain four so no matter how, how many rows you add the total number of treble crochets will always be seven so continue this pattern and make the treble crochets until the end of the uh, row so here uh, we will count three chains one two three and on the fourth chain we will be making a treble crochet so the logic here is since in a previous row the gap was uh, three chains uh, between two treble crochets so we are leaving three chains and on the fourth we are making our last one so here as you can see our web pattern is getting formed and now we are into our fifth row so chain four first and since it is a fifth row we will be chaining five extra on top so chain of five is the gap between the treble crochets so after chain five turn your work and make a treble crochet on top of the previous one and after that chain five again so between the treble crochets we will be chaining five for the fifth row and we will be repeating this pattern uh, till we have uh, six treble crochets and if we consider the chain of four we will have seven treble crochets so repeat this pattern till the end of this uh, row so similarly when we reach the end chain five and in our previous row over this chain we will be making a treble crochet so here you can count four chains one two three four and on the fifth one make your treble crochet so for the last treble crochet always make one uh, the count one less than the current row so uh, similarly this is the sixth row so we are chaining four and we are adding extra six chains and then turning our work and making a treble crochet and then we will be chaining five which is the gap between the treble crochets or oh, sorry uh, chaining six which is the gap between the treble crochets and also this is row number six and 
continue this till the end of this uh, row so basically we will be repeating this uh, same pattern till uh, we achieve the required uh, height so as of now it is a small uh, web so if you want it to make uh, if you want to make a large web you can keep uh, increasing the gap by one chain uh, for every uh, row that you add and you will uh, once you reach your uh, required size you can stop so as you can see here we are at the sixth uh, row and we will continue to add few more rows uh, using this same pattern and here i am in row number 13 and i am uh, doing this 13th row so chain 4 and then add extra 13 chains so since this is row 13 so add extra 13 chains which is the gap or chaining uh, chains between the treble crochets and i'm thinking of ending my uh, web pattern with this 13th row so there's a little bit difference on the 13th row that we are doing so here after turning we will be making this first treble crochet so make the treble crochet over your previous stitch and after the treble crochet we will be making a chain three pico so since this is so you can add this to your last uh, row so chain three and then insert your hook into the base two loops as shown here and pull the yarn through it and make a slip stitch so here this is a small pico created at the end of this uh, treble crochet so chain 13 so now for row 13 the chains between the treble crochet is a chain of 13 so make the chain of 13 and then make your next treble crochet and after the treble crochet so make the treble crochet uh, pull through two loops at a time for three times and now make a chain three pico so chain three and insert your hook into the bottom two loops here pull the yarn through it and make a slip stitch so here as you can see we have made these two picos over these two treble crochets so we're adding the uh, picos only in the treble crochets which are in the uh, 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 in the middle not the first and the last one so repeat this pattern till you reach the last stitch so since we have uh, seven uh, treble crochets including the chain four we will have this picos over only the five uh, treble crochets that are in the uh, middle of the web so this is the last uh, one and we are chaining and then here instead of counting from the top 13 we can count from bottom four uh, chains because that is a treble crochet and then make our treble crochet on top of it so this is the last one so we are not making a pico over it so here our web is ready and I would like to add a chain at the end of the web so you can use this chain uh, to either tie the web uh, to the corners uh, while hanging it or you can also like I have done uh, hang a spider uh, uh, at the end of it and make it hang from the web so I will trim it off after I have chained for uh, made the long chain so I would like to add a similar chain on the other end of the web so to do that I will take the same grain yarn make a 
slip knot and on the fourth uh, chain I'm going to insert my hook and then pull this uh, slip knot through it and then I am going to make some chains so here I'm taking this one and chaining and while chaining I am also passing the uh, tail yarn uh, uh, around it so that the tail yarn gets uh, stitched into the uh, chains so and by doing that it gets hidden while we are uh, making the chain itself and you could also at the end uh, use a needle and stitch it into the chain but this way I feel it is easier to hide the tail yarn so make a long chain as per your preference or as per the requirement based on where you're going to hang or how you're going to hang your web and a similar chain can be in, uh, added on the third or the center part of the web as well uh, i did not feel the need for it so i haven't added the third chain so this is how the web looks at the end you can make a larger or a smaller web now let's see how to make the spider uh, so we're going to start off by using a magic ring and then chaining one and this chain one doesn't count as a stitch so we're going to make uh, six single crochets into this magic ring so you can make the spider using a purple yarn or black yarn as well but since for the tutorial it will be difficult to see the stitches that's why i'm using here uh, orange color yarn and after the chain six pull the magic ring and close the ring and on top of your first stitch uh, make an increase on top of it so we're going in a spiral method so to mark the first stitch what we'll do is we will place a marker once we make our first single crochet on top of our first stitch then make the second single crochet into the same stitch similarly into the next stitch also make two single crochets so we are making an increase uh, uh, one increase in each of the stitch uh, which means that we are making two single crochets in each stitch since our previous uh, round had six single crochets so this round uh, by the end of it we should have 12 single crochets now remove the marker again and make one single crochet first and place the marker back and into the same stitch make one more single crochet so we made an increase here into the next stitch just make one single crochet into the next stitch make an increase so we are alternating between an increase and one single crochet so by the end of this uh, round we should have a total of 18 single crochets so repeat this till you reach the marked stitch so this is the body of the spider and so here we are at the last stitch and we are going to make um, the last stitch we're going to finish off and then we are going to slip stitch to the first stitch so no more rounds now we are just going to start making the legs so for the legs chain six and make a slip stitch on the second chain from the hook so this is like the first and sec this is the second chain so on the second chain make a slip stitch and then into the next make one more slip stitch into the third one we will be making two slip stitch so this the purpose of this two slip stitch is uh, like it gives a bend uh, or it makes the legs a little bit angled here so make two more slip stitch into the next two uh, chains and now make a slip stitch into the next stitch of the body now chain six again 
for the next uh, leg and we'll be repeating the same pattern one slip stitch one more slip stitch and then two slip stitches into this one then one slip stitch and again one slip stitch now make the third um, leg so similarly make the third and the fourth leg as well and so we will have uh, four legs on this side of the spider and four legs on the other side so here we are first making the first set of four legs using the same pattern where we chain six and into the first two chains we are making just one slip stitch in each into the middle one we are making two slip stitches and then into the next two we are making two more slip stitches so after the fourth leg we are going to slip stitch over the next four stitches so this is the first this is the second this is the third one and the fourth one so after the fourth one we are going to chain six again and then repeat exactly the same pattern that we did on the other side so we are going to slip stitch make one slip stitch then into the next one more slip stitch and two slip stitch into the third one and followed by one slip stitch in the next and one more slip stitch in the next one then we are going to slip stitch into the next uh, stitch of the body so we will follow exactly the same pattern and make four more legs on the other side obviously the legs if you see will be bent in the wrong direction but can but you can twist them and you will see that you can twist and turn them to the required direction like this so make uh, four more legs on the other side and once you are done with the legs we are actually done with the spider pattern we will just chain one and pull the yarn tight to make a knot and trim off this yarn and the tail yarn that we have at the end and at the center uh, you can if you can if you leave a long tail yarn you can use a crochet needle and stitch it in uh, sorry if you can use a needle tapestry needle and stitch it in and else you can use a smaller crochet hook and stitch uh, these yarns into our existing stitches so once the yarn you have pulled through few stitches and you feel that they are secure trim it off similarly do it for the yarn in the center so this uh, orange spider I am planning to stitch it to the web so you can place it wherever you prefer and I'm using a, a thread of the same color as the spider and I am stitching it over the uh, web and there is no right or wrong way of doing this you just need to make sure that the spider is uh, secure to the web and does not uh, hang or fall off it and just use a normal needle and thread and uh, stitch it into the web so here you can see 
uh, to the end of one of the end strings I have attached the purple spider and I have the orange one over the web you can use push pins to hold this web over the wall if you want I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial do subscribe and click on the bell icon for notifications and give a thumbs up if you like this video thank you very much for watching guys and have a great day